嗨，大家好，我是一鸣老师，我来教你学中文。今天我们来分析三个词：帮、帮助和帮忙。These three words， 它们都可以翻译成 help， 但是具体有什么不同？怎么用呢？别急，看了视频你就知道了。So let's analyze one by one, and in the final, we're going to summarize it. First, let's look at "help." That is the most common way to say "help" in daily life. So that is very casual. For example, "Can you help me learn Chinese?" No problem. "Can you help me learn Chinese?" 没问题。Another thing we need to remember about "bang" is it's just a verb, not a noun. You know, in English, the word "help" it can be a verb and a noun. 可是中文不一样。"Bang" is just a verb, not a noun. So you can't say 谢谢你的帮。嗯嗯 ，that's wrong. Okay, now let's say 帮助 compared with 帮。帮助 is more formal. If we dig deeper, this word is made up by two concepts. 帮 means help, and 助 also means help and assistant. So they come together to form a new word, and that is more formal, more serious. 我们应该帮助贫困地区的孩子 A Serious topic. 我们应该帮助贫困地区的孩子。政府帮助他们解决了这个问题。政府帮助他们解决了这个问题。So the first difference is 帮助 is more formal, and the second difference is now 帮助 can be a noun, which 帮 couldn't. Remember? So now you can say 谢谢。你的帮助 ，Thanks for your help. Or 我需要你的帮助 ，I need your help. So check this table. The difference between 帮 and 帮助 This table is gonna be bigger when 帮忙 comes in. Okay, 现在我们来看帮忙 This is the most tricky one, and it's the one most people are confused with. So 注意，好好听 ，Attention. 帮忙 is most tricky because this one of the words called 离合词 in Chinese, separable words. When it comes to the usage, there are two points that you need to remember. First, it's not a transitive word, so it cannot be followed by an object. 比如说，我帮忙你，嗯嗯，不对 ，it's wrong. Now don't worry, I'm gonna explain more later. Second, it can be separated. Okay, now let's analyze deeper. And I say, 帮忙 is a separable word. More specific, it's a verb object construction. This word is made up by two parts. One part is a verb, another part is an object. In this case, 帮 is the verb, help, and 忙 is the object. 忙 literally means busy, but here we can understand it like an issue or a problem. So 帮忙 is like saying help an issue or a problem. So let's see why it's not a transitive word. Why it cannot be followed by object? Since here 忙 is the object of the verb 帮 help. So the verb help already has an object which is 忙 So you cannot put another object after it. If you say 我帮忙你 I help and I show you. That doesn't make sense. So remember, 帮忙 is not a transitive verb. You can't put a person after it. So let's see how to use it. 他让我明天去帮忙 So he asked me to help tomorrow. So he has an issue, a problem. He need a hand. 他让我明天去帮忙 Or 我好朋友下周搬家，我要去帮忙。My friend is going to move, and I'm going to help. You see, it's not followed by a person, and mostly it appears at the end of the sentence. 我好朋友下周搬家。
我要去帮忙. Remember the second point we said about usage of 帮忙, we said it can be separated. In another word, you can insert other things in the middle of 帮 and 忙. 比如说, 你能不能帮我一个忙? You see, we put 一个 in the middle. Remember, 帮 means help. 忙 means issue or problem. So, can you help me out with an issue? It's like saying, can you do me a favor? 再看 another sentence, 我没时间帮你的忙. I don't have time to help your issue. You see, we insert 你的, your. So, 帮忙 can be separated. You see, 帮忙 is a most tricky one. Just remember, first, it cannot be followed by an object, by a person. It can be separated. Okay, now let's have a review and summary of these three words. Here are the three words 帮, 帮助, 帮忙. First, casual or formal. 帮 is very casual. And 帮助 is formal. 帮忙 is also casual. Whether it can be a noun or not. 帮 is not a noun. 帮助 Yes, it's a noun. And 帮忙 is not a noun. So you see here, 帮助 is the only noun here. Okay, now, transitive or not? 帮, yes, it's a transitive verb. 我帮你. And 帮助 also is a transitive verb. 我帮助你. It's also right. But 帮忙 is not a transitive verb. You can put object or a person after that. Lastly, whether it can be separated or not. As you can see, 帮 cannot, 帮助 neither. So, 帮忙 is the only one that can be separated and that you can insert other things in the middle. Okay, guys, that is all about 帮, 帮助, and 帮忙. I hope it was helpful. If you like it, don't forget to 点赞。订阅和分享，好，谢谢收看我的视频，我们下次再见，再见 ，Have a nice day。